So, does being an adult just come with existential dread? Like, is that just part of the pie? Is that just a part of the equation? Because that's what it feels like for me recently. All right, so I know I started off on, an, on a, a harsh foot, but I would like to qualify my statements in this episode. In fact, I thought about refilming it briefly, but I'm not going to because what I said yesterday now is still true. Despite being very angry about my situation yesterday and very upset about it and very annoyed with the fact that I have to make a decision on my life, what I said yesterday still rings true and is worth being noted, worth being recorded, I guess. I was very angry about my situation, about having to make a decision on my life. I used to struggle making a choice about ice cream when I went to any sort of ice cream place, even Dairy Queen when they have like five options of just kind of ice creams, you know, dipped or not dipped. What are you going to get, buddy? Anyways. <laughs> I was very angry about my situation and that's okay, but I was angry because I've seen a little bit of progress, but it didn't immediately pan out. It didn't immediately go the way I wanted it to. And I'm a person who likes immediate results because who doesn't like to see immediate results and make like things to be solved quickly, but things aren't always solved quickly. And this part of my life is a big question mark. It's really a, a learning phase for sure. And I'll, later in this episode, you'll kind of hear I come to realize it's just learning. I'm just figuring it out, man. It's okay to be angry every day, or not every day, every now and then, and be truly frustrated about your situation, but you can't stay that way. You got to make changes. You got to adjust and help pull yourself out of the situation you're upset about. So that's where I'm at now. Uh, let's get on with the episode. No, that's enough of me. Back to grumpy me on Matthew from yesterday. Sorry if you don't enjoy me grumpy me, but... This is this is a part of the process. This is a part of the, the the experience that I'm going through my life right now. Sheer frustration and anger. I had a job interview in Colorado last Thursday. And it went pretty well, I think. I think it went pretty pretty well. Uh the people seemed to like me. I, I liked them. It was an interesting experience for sure. It was a learning experience more than anything, for sure because I did not know what I was getting myself into. Since my visit, I've obviously been thinking a lot, a lot about a lot of things, and I just don't think I want time to pass. I think I am hating the fact that I have to make a decision on my life in this moment. I hate it. I hate it. But also me being able to make this decision is what people say is the best part of being in this point in my life, is the ability to make a decision for the next course of my life. But I hate this shit because there are multiple avenues that I think I could follow. Wow, am I just complaining about having options? It feels like it's impossible to make the right decision. It feels like there is no right decision in some ways, but it also feels like every decision is a right decision in some other ways. It's rather frustrating because I just, I, because I'm figuring it out, I guess. I'm just learning. And that, that is frustrating. And I was thinking to myself yesterday that like, oh, I'm not really learning anything recently. Like when you're in school, you're always learning something, gaining knowledge, but I'm not really, it doesn't feel like I'm learning anything in this current time, but I guess I'm, me not learning is me learning, if that makes sense. Like this position of not knowing what I want to do, where I want to go, it's all a learning process. Going to my first satellite job interview or traveling my first job interview, a learning process. Doing more job interviews. Every interview is a new process, a new chance to learn. Is that the lesson I should be taking from this moment? It's about learning. Just I'm, I'm learning in every opportunity I can. Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? Because I find myself much more confused at every turn than I do find myself really learning. Mm. I, I found myself just being unbelievably angry. Just un like recklessly angry at my situation, and I talked to my mom on the phone. Shout out to you, mom. And she gave me a, some some good thoughts about. Well, I was angry in the moment, so I was I was trying to filter my anger with what she was saying. And she was giving me some good thoughts about 
where I'm at and maybe why I'm angry or upset about this position I am. One, because it's a frustrating position. It just is. Unbelievably angry for, for what reason? Like, no good reason it doesn't feel like. I couldn't give you a real good reason other than the fact that I'm just frustrated about where I'm at. And I, as my mom explained and went on to say, I think it's just, well, she didn't say it explicitly like this, but it started to feel like this, that it's kind of my privilege showing itself, I think. I'm mad with my situation and I'm mad because it's not going the way I want it to. But there are ways to make it go the way I want it to. Like two weeks ago, I was so happy about the position I was in. I was feeling good about the direction I was working. And that's because I was actively applying to jobs. I was actively improving my situation and trying my best to help myself out. But now that I've gotten some sort of progress or some sort of result or some sort of gratification that I'm stepping forward in my process, I'm now mad. I'm now mad that I took a step forward. I'm now mad that it didn't perfectly work out, that I didn't go to Colorado and it was the most beautiful experience I've ever seen in my life. And freaking I met the president and I, I got offered a million dollars and they gave me the job on the spot. I'm mad that it didn't go perfectly the way I wanted it to. But since when do things? I've been lucky enough that things go my way every now and then or more than most people maybe, but it's nowhere near that way all of the time. In fact, rarely. It's impressive how rageful I was earlier. You can hear my voice. It's rather raspy maybe at the moment. And that's because I was just screaming into a pillow earlier today of just unhinged rage. I didn't, I didn't punch anything. I didn't break anything, but I was so angry. Because when it feels like I make progress, the progress doesn't feel like it really adds to anything. I described to my mom, it's like, it feels like I'm in a merry-go-round, just going around in circles, hoping a hook will grab me. Rather than like working in a linear direction and taking steps forward, it feels like I'm just spinning in a circle, hoping that someday a fish will bite and drag me out of this circle. But like my mom said, I put off applying to jobs till about three, seriously applying to jobs until about three weeks ago. And now I'm mad that in three weeks I haven't gotten a promising opportunity. Had I started applying to jobs six weeks ago, maybe I'd be in a different position, but I didn't. And I have to deal with that. And I'm not particularly upset about that because as I just explained, I, I took my time, I did what I did, but of course you want things to go your way. Of course you want things to work quickly. <sighs> Of course you want things to work out for you. But they don't always. In fact, they often don't. And mm, I guess I just wish they would. But since they're not, I have to keep doing what I'm doing. I have to stay on the process. And if I see, my, if I see a position that I want to go or I see a, a place that I want myself to be in, I have to do the research. I have to do the work. I have to put in the time to learn about said situation and see if it's feasible, see if it's possible, see what I have to do to make it happen. And I can do that right now. I'm, I'm not far from my brother's apartment. I can walk there and start doing that now. I can start the research. I can plan out a budget. I can research apartments, see what it costs to actually live there. I can do math and put these numbers together and figure it out. But I just have to do it. And I would rather, I guess I would rather there be a, a solution presented to me than find my own solution because I don't want to do the work. Oh, you poor baby. Poor baby doesn't want to do the work to get where he wants to go in life. Oh no. Yes, my anger now seems silly. It seems ridiculous. What are you getting angry about, bud? You're getting angry that you're in this position? Ah, darn. You're in a position that many other people have been in and will be in and currently are in. You're not the first one to have these problems, to have these, this anger, to have this frustration. You won't be the last. People have had many varying results being in this situation. I recognize that. 
and I, I, I will have a different result than I came predict right now. But I gotta put in the work to at least get a result. Right now, I'm just angry or, or grumpy about not being already where I want to go. But I can go anywhere. My mom said it was always a struggle for me to pick ice cream flavors back in the day. And in a similar way, it's a struggle for me to pick a path now. It feels like I have every option to me and all of them have different, different pros and cons. So how the hell am I supposed to be able to decide on which one I want or which one is right for me? How in the world? Time and effort, that's how. Being patient, that's how. Not screaming into a pillow. Well, maybe screaming into a pillow. But not doing that too much because it doesn't seem particularly uh, uh, productive. Although my voice sounds kind of cool now, but it was just because I was screaming at the absolute top of my lungs. So I don't know how long this episode's going to be. And it's definitely not going to be entertaining because it's literally just me walking around this campus talking on my phone. <laughs> but if you watched it to this point, I appreciate you. Because you care about what I'm thinking, about what I'm going through. That's cool. So I appreciate you. It is really frustrating, but it's I, that's par for the course. Like, what am I? What, what should I expect? You know, it's okay to be upset, to be upset and frustrated and angry. It's okay. Oh man. I hope you've enjoyed this week's episode of the Procrastinator Podcast. I know it's been a, a, ra a ragtag episode for sure. I've been your host, Matthew Stein. You have been fantastic as always. And I'll see you in next week's episode, hopefully on a more positive note. Um, only time will tell for next week's episode and for my future. Gotta do things now, though, that'll pan out hopefully in my favor. Rather frustrating, but it's okay. Okay, see ya.